The Museum of Copula Tree Organs, it's about the morphology of animal genitalia, uh, both male and females. This show primarily is of invertebrates and things that can only be seen under the microscope or the electron microscope. So I'm revealing both wonders, that of the small and that of the morphology of reproductive organs. And other aspects of copulation like claspers, like the, these animals, they use claspers to hold on to the female and attach themselves and stimulate her, which are part of um, the whole process. Or love darts, which are darts that snails fly to each other. So it's a little bit broader than uh, strictly male genitalia. This project uh, was born out of my interest in small creatures. And I used to have a project called the Cardoso Flea Circus. And when I was doing research for it, I found out this description of flea genitalia as one of the wonders of the insect world. So I was really intrigued by it. And um, yeah, it has a little bit of, you know, it has that aspect of curiosity and fascination for hidden sexual behavior but it's also about the form, formal uh, shape, about the beauty of their shapes. Spermatophores are from uh, really ancient organisms before they evolved penises. And I found some images on the net about these transparent uh, looking spermatophores and putting those two together, I thought glass would be the perfect medium to represent this as an object and I commissioned a flame glass artist called Mark Elliott. And uh, together we work on trying to represent this drawing as accurately in um, the medium of flame glass, which is a um, 19th century tradition um, of scientific illustration using glass. These are um, the specimens of harvestman from Tasmania, which is related to spiders and related to mites. And uh, Glenn Hunt, a taxonomist, collected this in 1969. So they all look pretty much the same, but by looking at the genitalia, he could tell that there is different species because you can see how diverse the genitalia is. This is a science and art project. And I say science first because is this, I try to be as precise as scientists are with their work. I have been trying to make it happen for eight years. And uh, it, the only way I was able to develop it was through academia and joining Sydney University, pursuing a PhD. Um, before, um, I, you know, I was intriguing, but also uh, they look at me as with a little bit of suspicion. And now that I am achieving things and I have nice images to show them and show them that I'm not just uh, trying to do a sensationalist piece of work but that I'm doing serious research and I'm contributing um, to their to their projects as well to science they are all getting excited now this had always been my dream for eight years to have a real museum of copula tree organs but I didn't know if I was going to be able to achieve it because it really depends on, on opportunities and grant money. But uh, when the opportunity for the Biennale came and funding from Arts New South World came, uh, I could do it to, um, you know, to a much higher standard. And uh, yeah, it's, it's beyond my dreams, yeah.